Hey guys, it's Joe from The Rich Line Adventures. And I know it's been a little while, but it's almost Halloween. It's time to post a video. For the last couple months, we have been living in Virginia. Gas has been a little bit expensive. And I made a decision to buy something. And here it is. 2023 Honda Ruckus. I didn't want to post a video right away because, to be honest with you, it's my first moped ever. And I didn't just want to post something without knowing what I was talking about. But I bought the 2023. As you guys can see, the model number right here. 2023. Um, all Ruckuses are about the same. It hasn't really changed for the last decade. But just to give you some stats, this bad boy has a 1.3 gas tank. You access the gas tank from here. And the gas tank is basically this. 1.3 uh, the mpg mpg for this bad boy is 114 miles per gallon which it's amazing yeah you heard that right 114 miles per gallon in real life like the way i am driving it it's it's about 100 get 95 sometimes um i got this bike with zero miles at this point i have 553 miles the reason why I got it is because I don't know if you guys remember from my last video but we moved to Virginia from Hawaii we had a trip uh, from Los Angeles California all the way to Virginia and when I got here gasoline was about five dollars or a little bit more for a gallon, which is not bad compared to what it was. It was like seven bucks in California. Uh, Kansas has like the cheap, cheapest one whenever we're going through. It was probably like four something. But anyway, um, when we left Hawaii, we sold our second vehicle. So I only had the Rich Line. And when I got here to Virginia, what we wanted to do is we wanted to buy another vehicle but if you guys have tried to buy a vehicle from the dealership it's crazy like you cannot just walk in and and get a vehicle you have to put money down and wait for the vehicle and they get allocations and they will literally restore the vehicle for you and make the vehicle and then deliver the vehicle for you so that's where we are right now um, that vehicle will come soon uh, enough but I made the decision to buy the Honda Rockers. That way my wife and kid can have the rich line while I go to work. Let me tell you why I bought this. I bought this Rockers only to drive on base. If you guys don't remember, I am in the military. So I'm in Fort Lee, Virginia, and I only drive on base. I don't take this thing out. Um, I know the whole thing about it and the stigma of how you can be as careful as you want and somebody's going to hit you. Well, it's no problem for me because the, the speed limit on base is literally 25 to 30 miles. Um, this bad boy over here, if let me show you guys, it goes up to 40, but listen, you have to be going downhill with the wind against your back to reach 40 to 42 miles per gallon. Like it has to be perfect. So in a normal um, speed, and keeping in mind that I'm 185 pounds, uh, this thing can go easily 35, 36, 37 miles per, per, per hour, which like I said, it was perfect for me because um, I'm only driving this on base. So from my, from my house to work, it's about seven to eight minutes through lights. So I'm not really speeding with this, not like I can regardless, but um, it's it was the perfect situation so I can wait for the vehicle that we're buying, the second vehicle, and at the same time I can I can like really save some money. Um, once again, as you guys can see, I have 553 miles per uh, gallon, keeping in, in, in mind that I, I got the 
the whole 1.3 gallons full whenever I bought it from the dealership. I have used uh, maybe I would say 16 bucks, 17 bucks since I started driving this thing. And I started doing that in June, so July, August, September, October. So in four months, I have put almost 600 miles and it has cost me 15, 16 to 17 dollars with current prices. Because if you do the math, um, gas, uh, I can get a hundred miles out of like four bucks now, so it's awesome. Um, some things to keep in mind whenever you are thinking of buying a Ruckus. Uh, number one, they're hard to find, like anything nowadays. I have to go to Virginia Beach, which is about two hours, two and a half hours uh, to drive this. Uh, the, the distance and I literally bought the last one back in June um, I'm not too sure about it nowadays. I'm, obviously. I'm not looking anymore, but um, That's that's a con that I see with these bikes because everybody wants them um, Like I was telling you guys I bought it for for you know low speeds um like it's I don't really have a commute. It's just you know, so I, I have a free vehicle for my wife and kid So I would say if you live in a small town or in a big city where you're obviously not gonna uh, Drive in freeways or high-speed uh, highways. This would be the perfect commuter for you in um, in Virginia to the least you do not um, need to have a license and you do not need to have insurance, um, which was a big deal for me whenever I decided to get this because the engine is small. It's a 49cc. It's not really a motorcycle. It's a moped. So it, it's a moped rules. So what that means to me is, once again, I have to, uh, on base at least, I do have to have a jacket on, which my uniform, it's, it's fine. I do have to have a helmet with a face shield. So I got a H, um, HJC helmet. It's a, it's a half, it's a halfer. It's perfect. Like I told you, I am literally going 35 miles per hour every time. And I have to have gloves. If I ever get out of the base, I don't really even need anything. I just need a helmet. I don't need anything. But here, I have to have gloves and I have to have all that good stuff. Um, this uh, mopeds, if you have been looking for one of them, they're super easy, super simple, and they're fairly cheap. Um, to show you what it is, is you have the key, you have a high beam indicator, you have, if, if this thing lights up, what it means is that it's in 0.3 reserve. Like I was telling you, it's a 1.3 gallon. So I can go through one full gallon and I will still have 0.3. So if you do the math, I still have quite a lot to get to the next gas station. What I do though, I have a, a sorry for the mess, but it's Halloween, but I have a five gallon um, tank that I bought from Costco. So I have this full. So whenever it's time to fill up, I don't even have to go to the gas station. I have this thing semi full since June. I use it for my uh, lawnmower and my pressure washer and the moped. Um, very simple the controllers. Uh, this is it's uh, the the high the beams are always on. So if I wanted to do high beams, I just switch this um, to go left. I click this to go right. I click that. It does not return by itself, so whenever you go left, you have to, or right, you have to just move it to the center. Um, that's the horn and the start. The only things I have bought for my bike, and I think I'm going to keep it that way for a very long time, is number one, it's a good um, cell phone mount, which is very simple. To install, just go with this bad boy, and then you can just put your cell phone. I got it because, believe it or not, I get lost on base. And the one, the other thing that I did buy, um, it's this bag for the under seat. 
because if you don't have this bag, there is really no storage at all for this bike. So you can buy this bag, which is waterproof, and it, it can hold quite quite some. I put um, anything in here, my papers for work, my gloves are always here so I can get ready to go. There's like a cell phone pocket outside if you don't wanna, you know, have your uh, cell phone on the, in your pocket or whatever. Um, like I was telling you guys, it's the perfect transportation method for me right now. Um, I do not regret my decision. Uh, I was telling you guys, I mean, if you have lasted this long in this video, one of my um, crazy videos here, and you have any questions about the bike, about the price, about the speed or anything, uh, drop a like and, and comment. I can tell you exactly what it is. Uh, that's the reason why I didn't wanna post a, a, a quick review right away because I didn't wanna just not know what I'm talking about. But now I have driven almost 600 miles, which I have to do. The first oil change is at 600 miles, so I'll do that. It's really quick, it's so simple, it's a joke. I, I might post a video or not. It's There's plenty of videos out there. Um, I love it. I love the bike. I love the bike of what it is and how it looks. If if you know about the Ruckus, there's no surprise to you. There's so many mods and so many things to do to this bike if you're into that. You can stretch it. You can put a different tire on it. You can uh, you can convert it in a chokas, they call it. So you, you change the 49cc engine to like 150ccs. Um, you can change the battery box, the thing, you can change this cover, you can put foot pegs either here or here in the front. There is so many, you can, you can change these goofy, goofy mirrors right here that people think they're goofy and then you can just put um, uh, mirrors at the extensions right here on the, on the handlebars. Uh, the, all the parts are super duper cheap. Uh, real quick, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the, the uh, the mount in the back. I bought it through Amazon and all every single part I just mentioned right now You can buy it through Amazon There's some things you can do some things you cannot do but My view of that is 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 this and I might get some hate for it or not, but I bought the Honda Ruckus for what it is For the shape that it is. I like seeing some of the builds that people do with this bike but I'm gonna be honest with you. If you bought the Honda Ruckus for speed, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you guys. This thing goes max 4042, and I love the shape of it. I just don't get the point of buying the Honda Ruckus, dropping all the money for it, then you have to change the engine, change the uh, uh, the chassis. You have to literally stretch it. You have to change this, that. You change the lights. What I mean. Honestly, it's 2022 and I'm gonna get this typical comment of, oh, it's your money, do whatever you want with it. But I'm giving you my opinion. If you bought a Honda Rockers, just to say that it's a Honda Rockers, just so you can spend so much money to not make it look like a Rockers, what, what do you buy a Rockers for? That's, that's just my two cents, guys. If you agree or disagree, let's have a conversation about it. Like I was telling you, for my use, it's perfect like this. I bought a new, so I'm not gonna be messing with no warranties or anything like that. Um, I'm not gonna mess with no internals. Uh, I'm gonna, I don't even know what I want right now. If anything, I would just, maybe I would get some foot pegs. It would be nice to have some foot pegs like right around here so I can just stretch my legs uh, well. But other than that guys, this is the little bike that I'm gonna be using. It Winter is coming, so right now it's getting cold, but I'm happy with it. I am waiting for another Honda uh, vehicle. Keep tuned for that. Um, we'll see what happens. So once again, guys, if you lasted all this long in my quick review of the Honda Rockers, drop a like, ask me whatever you want. I'm pretty good on it. Also uh, coming up soon, uh, I will post a video of the Honda Ridgeline just to guys see if I done anything or not. 
or our, our, our review of a couple of years with the Honda Ridge Line. Thank you guys once again. Um, I'll see you guys on the next one.